Hey guys, I was going to say Kanemaru Okami, but I changed my name. Right now, I am known as Wolf Kaiser. Hope you're all doing very well. I've been completely bored all entire day, so I think of maybe I can just treat myself a little bit of an award. An award of nostalgia. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm taking a look at DC Comics and Vertical's own DVD, only the rice green version, with Natalie Portman and Hugo Reaving, and also the legendary John Hurst. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about V for Vendetta. I'll be giving you a lot of overall reviews about it as soon as I finish watching the video, but only problem is I won't be watching the video with this face. In other words, they'll be getting the Guy Fawkes marks and watch the whole entire movie with it. Just to have the inside of all the characters, the story plot, as well as the dialogue itself. And believe me, this has a lot of great dialogues. I checked early on YouTube about what most of the dialogues are and... And mostly doing a little bit of research on it. And I gotta say, this has been one of the great movies that I wanted to get for old time. I'm pretty much trying to think about this as a style for a, a project that I might be working on. Something that appears to be more Shakespearean and more script writing than is in just movement as I did like about six years ago. So ladies and gentlemen, V for Vendetta. Let's get into this shit. I really liked it. Not only just that the story plot was just so, so recent, but still it had a history that this was a project that's supposed to be done a while more back before productions. I gotta say, um, the story plot wise, it started off as very depressing by knowing, um, what most of these characters have went through from the past year, as well as, um, it's supposed to be something that's supposed to be like, um, religion or Christianity, that sort of thing. But this is more like finding a pure strength upon weaknesses. And I gotta say that, um, what I just saw, my mind was blown. I, I was hoping that this was gonna be one of those upcoming, this up, upbringing sort of movie, but this... This has a lot of feeling towards it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's just start with the character itself. Well, Hugo Raving's character was V, a... Both, um, a vigilante of both victim and villain. He, um... He was very strong of how well he holds the character together, as well as the, the beginning dialogue. Uh, when he saw um, Natalie Portman's character, Evie, down in the alleyways. And I gotta say, I have never seen a dialogue or monologue so much that had a lot of V words into it. I mean, I've been... I'm trying to say all of this at the same time, just pretty much having a bit of a practice towards it. It is difficult. To keep your tongue straight when saying all of these words that, that begins with V and continue on with the storyboard. I mean, that w that is an impressive talent from Mr. Weaving himself. Um, let's see. Natalie Portman's character, um, originally it started that she was about to see, um, uh, a family relative who was feeling a little bit ill. And this was during the era that every night time, everyone has a very rough curfew. I mean, no one can be able to get out at um at nine o'clock, ten o'clock, or even at midnight, or they will face a a very tough justice. Uh, she was about to be attacked by um by a couple of goons who worked with the government. That's right, goons in the government. 
putting those words together in the same sentence, it really doesn't work out really well, but it gives the meaning of a mole planted in the law. And they were going to go through um, a little bit of a rape issue to um, Natalie Portman's character towards just creeping on her, giving her that disturbing vibe. And they were going to say, drop the, the whips and start with the pleasure. That, you started off terrifying movie. And then somehow you saw the um, the anti-hero, V, the, the main protagonist of, of the movie, coming in towards her rescue. And, and they started having this sort of a paradox where they they will start asking questions and answers towards anyone, to each other. And this was actually blowing your mind because I was trying to put my head all around it. But this was written extremely well done. I mean, I, I seen Shakespeare in plays. I seen, um, plays that does a lot of, uh, storyboard, storytelling, script writing, and my God, this one has been the best so far, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Natalie Portman's character, well, we know the backstory about the character that, um, her first love was um was also a female as herself and her family didn't like it at all. They they phoned her out, they didn't want to see her face again. All because of of the conflict of both um gender uh and this was a movie that's supposed to be like um A little bit of a protest about um, people trying to get rights with or against um, same-sex marriages. Um, there was a lot that they put into here, like for the government, they put in very tough laws like um, Muslim terrorism. Those who um who doesn't belong into the country, as they call it, they will either throw them in jail, give them like a very tough fine just to tell them to go back where they belong, or they kill them by by um fire by a firearm team. I nearly lost my words for that one. And that one was very hard towards me just to find out because um Yes, in in the history, in the past, these sorts of rules has been happening as well as today that terrorism has been on a top pri pri priority. Yeah, sorry about the stubborn there. The top priority towards everyone who is either race, either Christianity, either gender, this was very rough for anyone just to be able to watch, but you still get the idea about what they are going in through. And pretty much, when I take a look at the back, this says the terrific vendetta is up there with the Wondersky Brothers first Matrix film. I'm just saying, this one has a more of a suspense towards the Matrix than what the Matrix already had before production. I mean, you're just pretty much seeing this this protagonist, this hero villain, or villain hero, whatever you wanted to call it, have saved this girl's life and trying to tough her up, giving her like a new wisdom. And they have this sort of, um, a bit of a musical kind of, um, opening for know abouts. Pretty much V said, what date is it tonight? Evie will say November 4th and then he'll just say not anymore. The bells were told and then he start becoming like a bit of a composer. He's, he's moving some music along. Start off with the brass, the tombones, the strings, 
and then you literally hearing the songs going off. That's going like dun 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 dun, dun. and at that moment the old Bailey's um yeah the old Bailey's was blown off c completely destroyed and I'm thinking wow I mean that sort of thing this is before Michael Bay ruined Transformers and I don't know is this the same era that um, when, uh, don't worry, it's not the same era, um, of Michael Bay did Pearl Harbor, and believe me, those movies really sucked that Michael Bay did. So on to the review itself. V for Vendetta, when destroying the old Baileys, he put on a very long message of saying that we have been blinded, we have been silent about um, about this government and what they have been doing to that and not knowing the actual truth, only to be covered by more false truths and lies. And they put on something that was um, that was scripted writing, um, was talented, was uh, was his recording of VTV on the um, the emergency channel from a particular station, and they're saying that he blew up the old Bailey, and just to help people remember about the great history that um that a wall back this date will be having. And I gotta say, uh, um, what they did afterwards, like. You still have your, your mostly fighting and storytelling that's being asked by both Hugo Ruin and Ali Portman. And you do see a lot of um, John Hurst popping in and out on most cameos, playing as, um, as a leader of, this, of, a, of a government way back before this recent constable, um, let's see, name, 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 name. Constable, constable, constable. Okay, it doesn't say right here. Before that, our previous constable took over his role. And let me say, John Hurst's character, um, I, my mind was literally blown off when I saw um, his cameo in the, the latest Doctor Who movie of the two Time Lords when they had to go back and try and destroy this this box only to rewritten a new future and what I saw John Hurst's character and his work that he done in V for Vendetta I was gonna say I was personally I I fangirled I mean it's not like a, a very high screen but inside of me my love towards John Hurst, the, the actor, was inspiring and incredible. I mean, having these casts all together to make this one particular movie that's supposed to be more st serious and more very dark, it was amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see, what else should I say about the movie? Well, we still have multiple fight scenes. We we saw the um the pain and of um the pain and trouble Natalie Portman did when when she was kidnapped and went went to jail all because she became like um a, a co assistant towards V and calling her the second in hand command for terrorism. Um all through that scene when she had her her hair being shaven off, she's been washed by a a giant hose, um to have this punishment to to have this torment. It was very strong if you are um an an um an actor of that caliber. I, I've been looking at this so much, and it kind of reminds me of some some of the shows that I did, like another meant how it became greed. It, it was limbo. It was torture. And 
And that did remind me of when I did another month way back. That was mostly incredible. And, and even one of the greatest moments ever was the, um, was the final, final fight scene of V, the constable, and all these henchmen. And V did make the promise of, um, of this match going to end as the constable dying by V's hands and choking his life out of it. But you still, there was a bit of a Matrix moment in that fight scene when he's throwing his, um, his small dagger and knives doing martial arts, throwing them as a henchman and killing them, wounding them, injuring them, and then going off towards, um, the constable. The constable shot him like a couple of times trying to say, what are you? V replied with, I am a man behind a mask. I'm a man with a plan and every plan is bulletproof. And then killed the constable by strangling up him up onto a fence and then cracking his neck. That was intense. And then the scene at the final end it was supposed to be like one of the most saddest moments of your life, but you you get a, a strong bond about this mo movie that really in incredible. I mean, wow. If if, if I was there at the premiere, when I, all the way back down to, in, in the years and saw the, the premiere of that movie, I would give a very strong standing ovation for the hard work that they have done and the creativity that they put into. I mean, it's just something I have to take my hat off. This was an achievement. This is... This was like winning a war. This, this is, this is very strong. It's like you, you're having your voice to be heard by every single ear, by every single people, every individual to understand, to to know about these characters, the storyboard, the background, the the music. The music was incredible, ladies and gentlemen. It it fitted well within the. The theme of, of the film, it, my god, and this is supposed to be a very long um, movie, like I said before, 2 hours 14 minutes, not more longer than a Lord of the Rings movie, and that went for about 3 minutes. If you want to get v for, get, v for Vendetta, I highly recommend you go get it, either in regular writing edition, director's cut. The, the Blu-ray, get it. Completely get it. Watch it. And and experience yourself the the strongness of this this movie. I I'm lost with words, ladies and gentlemen. This, this is a very awesome movie. I highly recommend going going to get it. Now I can. Uh, I have to take this off because it was kind of sweating on me. There, it was getting very hot. It. It got my approval. It got my two thumbs up. It got. The awesome award. Yeah, definitely go get V for Vendetta. This is ten out of ten. There was no flawed about this movie that you just don't want to lose. So, until next time for another review, I am Wolf Kaiser. Hope you're all having, ha having a wonderful day, as I just did right now, watching this incredible god of a movie. V for dinner. 10 out of 10.